Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for September 7th, 2021. Well, we've had a little bit of time to rest and recuperate on the holiday weekend. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. But how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the morning market prep video. So good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. We had kind of an interesting day on Friday in just that we had a tremendously um, big miss on the employment situation number and the market just shrugged and said yeah we don't care and did little or nothing. Now that could be a little bit of a function that so many traders decided to take off right after the data and we just kind of went into a, a program trading market. <clears throat> However, it is kind of concerning how the market can continue to ignore these bad data points. Now I'm guessing they did that in, just with the, the hope that what that means is the Fed will continue printing and it gave the Fed cover to not have to taper here soon. And we love that freshly printed money in the market. It just seems um, we are so hopelessly addicted to it. It's going to be an interesting thing to see when and if we do stop printing. But let's take a look at these technicals and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, notice that this trend right here remains very strong and we are remaining in this very productive and bullish consolidation in the chart. We've been struggling here with this price resistance in the Dow just a little bit, but notice this little tight consolidation. Now, when I say tight consolidation, those, those are some pretty big point moves. But as I continue to say, I don't think we run into any bearish problem unless we were to close below that big black candle there. Close below that black candle could create some bearishness. However, if we continue to hold in this range here, we are certainly within striking distance of new record highs and we may still have to rest a little bit more to come out here toward trend to make that decision whether we're going to trade up or trade lower but watch that closely I don't think um, we have anything here in this chart that even remotely hints of bearishness let's take a look at the spy SPY also very very bullish notice that we we are just still a little bit stretched away from our trend but if we take a look right in here we have some good price support in this area now what this would suggest is if we're going to wait for the trend to engage that we could have a considerable period of time where we could just kind of bounce around in this trading range out here toward trend and notice that's not odd we we do these kind of moves to get back to trend so keep a close eye on that it is possible. However, we are definitely within striking distance of new record highs in the market. There'd be no reason to believe either that we couldn't just push right on through and trigger those record highs and just absolutely ignore, continue to ignore the um, internal problems that we're starting to see in the market. Let's take a look at the QQQ. QQQ also extremely bullish. Now, one thing I'll say about the QQQ is that we are very extended away from some key price support in the chart. And if we take a look at this, this is the only trend that we have to work with here right now. Now, we could slip into a bit of a longer consolidation out here, and that would probably be healthy for the market, but we are a bit extended in the short term and if we were to see some selling to come come in here on the big techs that could create a little bit of uncomfortableness in the market so watch that closely if that does occur but for now we're holding into again another bullish productive consolidation doesn't seem to be any desire of the bears to make an appearance in the market and we just continue to push and push and push higher so watch that closely but the uh, 
bulls are certainly in control there in the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM has made a massive improvement over the last couple of weeks, breaking back above its 50-day moving average that happens to be laying right across here. Um, and that 50-day moving average, um, as you can see, um, has been declining. So not exactly a, a bullish chart if you were to look at the moving averages. But looking at the price action, we just don't seem to be concerned at all about uh, where things are here um, in those technicals. Uh, very, very bullish, holding above price support, holding above that 50-day moving average. Now, we also have to keep in mind that we have significant upside resistance on this chart. So although we have improved dramatically, we still have a lot of work to do before we really hit some breakout levels. But there is one hope, and that hope is that the energy sector, the oil sector, has been perking up pretty strongly. And if oil continues to um, gain ground, that can certainly help IWM to continue to move higher. So let's watch this area right in here. We have good support across this area. We've got some support right in here, and you can see those bulls are pushing here this morning. We we started off really light, and we are still light and relatively choppy in the pre-market, but the pre-market pump is starting to push to the upside here now. And as we continue to pump that pre-market, let's watch carefully. It is possible we could push right on through here um, this high and be stretching out here to uh, move into some resistance levels in the chart and maybe even test some all-time highs here in IWM. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX, interestingly enough, although we were kind of just ignoring um, that jobs data, um, notice that the VIX really hasn't declined. We continue to be stuck. Um, holding this support level in the VIX. We can't seem to quite drop down through that. And we would, you would think that we would, if we're gonna continue to press new record highs, we should see that VIX declining. Not quite so much yet, not ready to drop through there. So we still have that little bit of concern if the bears were to make some kind of an appearance and bounce up off of here, that could be the problem for us. But right now, we seem unconcerned. As long as the market continues to print money, we just love it. And um, every reason to believe that the bulls will remain in control here. Um, keep in mind that we have built quite an interesting downtrend here with these, with these peaks. And I don't think we're going to have any major problem in this chart unless we can break back above this 20 handle area and actually prove to hold up here. Right now that doesn't seem to be in the cards. So just keep a close eye on that. I think there may be some complacency shown in this chart that we're just beginning to get a little bit lazy in the sense that the market can never fall. Believe me, it will at some point in time, and I think it will be one of those um, one of those times when it kind of rips your face off when it does. But watch that carefully. As long as we can stay compliant here in the VIX and don't get too carried away, bulls, or excuse me, the bears will probably remain in hibernation. Let's take a look at our T2107. T2107 is kind of an interesting chart in that it shows us that we still have a significant number of charts that are um, slipping below their 200 day moving average. So notice it's about 50-50 here. This is the percentage of stocks above its 200 day. So we're about 50-50 of those stocks holding above and those slipping below. Keep in mind that we have this downtrend in this chart and we have broken through the, the support level here in that chart. So that possibility that we could hold in this support area and start pushing up does exist and um, those big techs and things starting to draw some of these st stocks out of these doldrums, out of the lows. So that would be bullish for the market if they can continue to lift those up out of those. Uh, because we just it, it's kind of a glaring um, 
thing here in the charts right now where we have so many that are um, really strong and then so many that are lagging. We need those lagging to kind of start moving along and perhaps the big techs can continue to lift that um, right on up in the market. So watch that. There's a bullish opportunity here if those stocks can start to hold these support levels and move higher. Then if we like take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 is interesting on Friday. Although we were trying to pretty much ignore um, that jobs data, we did see a little bit of pullback in T2122. And notice that I continue to talk about this and how accurate this chart tends to be when we reach up here in these bearish reversal zones here in this chart. We're a little bit extended at that period of time. Now, the pullback here on Friday gave us the opportunity that we could certainly see this push on higher. And I wouldn't be all that surprised if we continue to just ignore some of these details and continue to push on up. So watch that carefully in there. Now, also also keep in mind that what this means here is we we have a short side to the upside but we also have opened a big whopping um, opening to the downside if we were to find some reason to sell off it could move pretty quickly to the downside so be careful of that don't become complacent and last but not least our t2101 market breadth. Now breadth has been kind of an interesting thing for a long long time. We just struggled and struggled with market breadth. Notice that breadth has picked up here and we are up here challenging this big long downtrend in that market breadth. If we can get that inspiration and continue to push here it is possible we could see that um, those bulls continue to push us to the upside. However, it may also be just a little bit of that indication that we're becoming some, somewhat complacent here in the market. So watch that carefully in case we do find a reason to stumble in um, this market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar is one of the lightest we have seen for a while. Notice that today we've just got some bond data here. Basically no market moving events today on that economic calendar. We do have the job openings report in the beige book here on Wednesday, but they're not exactly the big market movers out there. We know the jobs opening report, uh, it's just been absolutely massive, the number of jobs open. Unfortunately, we don't have people looking for jobs apparently. And then on Thursday, we will have jobless claims and the petroleum status. Those are market movers. We tend to ignore the petroleum status us and who cares about the eight and a quarter trillion of debt in the Fed? We don't, we're not worried about that. PPI will probably be the biggest number of the day and we're going to have to wait till Friday morning to get that. So a very light day or a very light week on that economic calendar was virtually nothing for the market to react to this morning. When it comes to earnings, it's kind of the same. We don't have a whole lot going on here on the economic calendar. We've got 18 companies listed, but a good number of those are also unconfirmed reports. However, we do have a few that we want to be paying attention to. Um, AMBA will be reporting, um, I believe they report later today, keep an eye on that. Probably one of our more important reports today. So watch that close. And then we have AMWD will be reporting today. Keep an eye on this as this stock reports. We have CHS will be reporting Chico's and CR WD. Now CRWD is in a nice bullish pattern here. We've been keeping an eye on this in right way options. Watch that closely as that hold, if that'll hold in here, um, maintain the, these highs on that earnings report. We'll hear from uh, DBI. Not exactly a big market moving report, as you can see here. Um, but this stock is trying to hold on to that little downtrend here. Um, as support. Let's see if it can hold these support levels and do something off of that. And then we're going to hear from NTES. We'll hear from them today. And the last but not least, uh, PVA. 
um, will be PCA. Huh. Maybe I have a typo here. Um, but keep an eye on these earnings reports today. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, if you find these videos to be useful and helpful to you, please click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments. It helps the channel to continue to grow. You know, the way YouTube works is it's the engagement with a video that makes the difference so if you engage leave those comments even an emoji it makes a difference and um, allows the algorithm to show these videos to more folks and consequently the channel go grows so thank you so much to those who do take the time to do that and i also want to say thank you so much to everyone who continues to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link i know there's a lot of folks that watch these videos that aren't members of right way options and and don't intend to be and that's perfectly acceptable um, everybody has a different course in their trading career but if you want to support this kind of content Clicking that link there, buy me a coffee, can also help the channel to continue to grow. And you're going to see some um, changes in the channel here in the relatively near future um, as a result of that. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And let's keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, if you... Um, Take a look at some of these charts. Make sure you do your own um, evaluation. Do your own due diligence on these charts. Never ever blindly follow someone else's trade idea and make sure you completely understand the risk of these trades before entering a position. Let's take a look here. Um, take a look at AMD. I think AMD is continuing to set up here. We do have a trend that we're, we're kind of slipping that trend just a little bit, but you can see I've got a price alert on this chart um, up here. If we can continue to show that bullishness, um, in this chart holding this price support then there may be that opportunity that can push on through I'd keep an eye on that some of these techs have just been extremely strong so watch that close take a look at Nvidia whoops Nvidia big bullish day here on Friday pushing through to the upside looking very very strong holding in here on the price support there's every reason to believe that this could go ahead and extend to the upside now don't be too surprised guys you always want to pay attention to where trend is we could also kind of chop around here sideways until we kind of get out here toward trend so watch that closely but nvidia looking very good very strong in the chart let's take a look at cisco Cisco holding up in a bullish pattern here. You can see very constructive consolidation. And this is one of those charts that we've been moving in this trend and this may have to consolidate a little bit more to finish that out. But I would keep a close eye on this. Cisco holding up pretty well overall, looking pretty good. Let's keep an eye on it. How about some of those stocks coming up out of bottoms? Let's take a look at ACB. Now, cannabis has been struggling here a lot, but ABC or ACB is starting to perk up. Notice we're breaking this downtrend and we have this support uh, resistance level in here that we need to kind of get above and hold. Let's watch that carefully, see if that can hold on in there, see if we can start holding up in that area. So maybe keep an eye on that. You might also want to keep an eye on stocks like um, Plug Power. Plug breaking this downtrend and trying to hold. Now notice we have a little bit of price support right in here. We're trying to hold in that area. What we're looking for is this retest down in here to see if that will hold that support and see that bull, those bulls start to push up in that chart. Watch that carefully. And by the way, guys, there's going to be a video coming here soon. This pattern that I'm showing you is one of my favorite patterns to trade for the reversal. And that is just simply notice I mark all of these out where we break down trends, we hold them as support, 
and that's where that bullish trade comes in and it's a great pattern we call it the tried and true pattern and um, we have a new scan in the LTA scanner that actually picks these out never seen an algorithm be able to pick out this pattern before and um, the folks over there at LTA got this thing figured out it is awesome and I'm going to do a video on this because I think this is just one of these great patterns that just produces over and over. So watch for that video here soon. But nice little pattern where we break above, hold that support, and start moving to the upside. You might want to take a look at a stock like 10 as well. 10, look at this pattern again. There's that trend break in that chart we push up through and now we're pulling back to test and see whether or not we can hold some of these levels of price support in the chart watch for that bullishness if that does show up in here there may be a nice upside move coming here in 10 watch that closely you might want to keep an eye on all of these stocks over here in the healthcare sector very very strong Healthcare is one of those areas when the market gets a little bit worried or a little, you know, concerned that we may be a little bit stretched out, we start to see a rotation. And that rotation has been going on here for a while into some more of a safe haven type plays. So keep an eye on those stocks here in healthcare. Um, you might want to take a look at the stocks in real estate. Very, very strong. When we start moving it heavily into real estate trusts, we know that there is a bit of a rotation going on in the market where we're looking for a bit of safety. So watch that closely. And by the way, in, in the TC2000, just a single click here, I need to do some updated videos on TC2000. But um, just a, a single click here can get you right into stocks that could be um, setting up in patterns. So very, um, a very handy tool here in TC2000 to pick up everything that's held in XLRE. Let's also take a look at um, some of the stocks in energy. Um, energy has been perking up. There's that tried and true pattern again where at, um, energy stocks breaking that downtrend, trying to hold in here in support. Now we've seen oil sector stocks perking up a bit here and they're perking up because we've seen declines in those supply numbers so watch this carefully in here and see if that can push on through to the upside i'd start watching that one pretty closely let's take a quick look at um, some stocks in the uh, financials uh, financial sector has struggled around here a little bit i'm a little bit concerned about <clears throat> this double top showing up here in the chart. Notice that we've weakened here um, pretty substantially from that double top pattern. We're trying to hold, trying, trying, trying to hold, but I'm going to be a little bit watchful. If we consolidate here or happen to make another lower high in here, we could run out of steam here in those financials, so watch that closely. And last but not least, let's take a look at some of the metals. Um, take a look at GLD. Now, GLD had a good day on Friday. It's giving it up today. We've got bonds moving up today. So gold is pulling back um, this morning. But keep a close eye on this. Um, let's notice that we broke above our 50-day moving average and broke above that 200-day moving average here in gold. And if I were to draw that line there, there's that downtrend again. And if we can hold in this area here, hold that support, then we could see precious metals starting to pick up here eventually. Watch that carefully and closely. Um, you might also want to take a look at stocks like um, FCX. FCX breaking back above its 50-day moving average. There's that big old downtrend. We're trying to break through that area. So if we can hold here up above that 50-day, start pushing through, we might get that tried and true pattern to occur here on um, copper as well. So watch those closely. I want to wish everyone a fantastic day and then just say thank you so much for everyone who does watch the video and comments on the video. I truly appreciate it. I want to wish you great success in your trading today. Don't be too surprised if volume is just a little bit lackluster with not much going on in the calendars today. And just, 
you know, traders kind of extending their holiday with a one day of vacation. So everyone be safe, be careful. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.